Hello, hello. How are you? Hello. Hey, Selena, how are you? I'm fine. And you? Fine? I'm very good, very happy. Okay. Hey, Oscar, what's up? What's new? The microphone, Oscar, the microphone. <laughs> Hi. Hi. In, in the office. Ah, you're in the office. <laughs> sorry. Yes. I'm sorry. Yes, yes. So you're going to go home very late. Go mm, home first, very late. First. Okay. Uh, 12. Okay. 12. 12. 12. 11 or 12. Uh, sorry. A lot of work to do, eh, Oscar? But thank you to connect to the to the class. Thank you very much. Hello. I, hello, Giselle. How are you? Good evening. I'm so so because oh. I'm working in now. You're work like Oscar. Oscar Oscar is working too. My goodness. Yes. Sorry. But thank you for uh, for this reason I I can connect the, the video only only audio. No problem. I understand. Okay. Don't worry. So, but I, for me it's enough. Sufficient, right? It's enough that you're in the class, Giselle. Okay, thanks. Good. Hi, teacher. Hi, Anna. How are you? Fine. Fine. Okay. Eh, Ana, perdón, una pregunta. ¿Usted me escribió en el grupo de WhatsApp? No. No, no. No. Este, fíjense que tengo una, una chica acá que se llama Ana también, pero creo que no, no es usted, ¿verdad? Entonces, no. perdón, perdón, eh, Ana, no es, no es usted, ¿verdad? Ok, no. so, eh, Michelle, Ricardo, José Liceo, welcome. Hi, teacher, good Hi. evening. Good evening, Sara, Sara is here, right? Good evening, good evening, good evening, everybody, good evening, it's a pleasure. Sara, welcome, Sara, welcome to the class. Hi, teacher. Hi, ayer no se pudo conectar, ¿verdad, Sara? No, me cuesta no. un poco con el internet. Sorry, sorry. Yeah, for me, listen, it's very difficult, the internet. Even I, I up, upgrade, upgrade my, my uh, the, the, the line. How do you say? La, la línea, la, la, the capacity, the capacity of the internet. Yes. Aun, aunque le subí, no, no, todavía me falla, right? It's, I guess um, it's general. Me pasa lo mismo. Yes. Oh, really? Sorry. De cinco le puse 10 megas y igual lento. Okay. In my case, I put 30 megas, right? Yo le puse 30 megas y aún así me falla. <laughs> okay. I understand, right? Don't worry. Don't worry. But you try when you can, right? Good. Now we're going to start with the test. Um, let's just start with the test. And let me see. I will share the platform. The platform here. Okay. Let me see. Midterm test, right? Give me a second. Okay, so we're going to start with letter A, listening, right? Listening. Listening. It's opening, it's opening. My 30 megas are working. Ahorita están trabajando mis 30 megas. <laughs> okay. But you know, even though it takes time, right? And my computer is not so bad. Mi computadora no es tan mala. Es de las buenas, right? But even though, look, aún así siempre el internet falla. El internet is the problem. Okay, good. Now listening. Look. Listen to the conversation and select the correct answer. Uh, we're going to talk about Sylvie, uh, Lucy, and hay una tercera persona, pero no aparece aquí. Ah, okay. Uh, Mar Marceau, es un, una perso una per un personaje francés, pero ya lo vamos a escuchar en el audio, okay? Michael. Michael, okay, okay. Ahí está Ana siempre, ¿verdad? Thank you, Ana. Thank you. Last me, 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 me agrada mucho que usted esté pendiente en cada detalle, Ana. Thank you. <laughs> me, me ayuda, no, me ayuda muchísimo, créame. Yeah, thank you. Okay, now. Eh, so listen to the audio, right? First time only listen, and then I will read for you, right? And then we're going to make a challenge exercise. Vamos a hacer un ejercicio algo fuerte. 
Okay. Now, let's just start with listening. Lucy, Michael, and Sylvie are talking. Listen and check the correct answers. Good morning, Michael. Hi, Lucy. How's it going? Pretty good, thanks. How about you? Great. Hey, who's your friend? This is Sylvie Marceau. She's from Canada. Hi, Sylvie. Nice to meet you. I'm Michael Morse. Hi, Michael. It's good to meet you, too. I'm sorry, Sylvie, but what's your last name again? Oh, it's Marceau. How do you spell that? M-A-R-C-E-A-U. I see. So you're from Canada. Are you from Toronto? No, I'm from Montreal. Where are you from, Michael? I'm from Chicago. You know, Sylvie and I are in the same chemistry class this semester. Oh, really? Yeah. And what do you do, Michael? Are you a student here too? Yes, I am. Lucy and I are in the same math class. Oh, is your class interesting? Yes, it is. It's very interesting. And the teacher is really good. By the way, he's from Canada too. <laughs> really? Listen, I'm on my way to the cafeteria now. Are you free? Sure. Let's go and get some coffee. Okay, Sylvie? Sounds great. Okay, so this is the first part, right? Now I will read for you. I will repeat the, the words for you, right? One by one. Lucy, Michael, and Sylvie are talking. Listen and check the correct answers. Good morning, Michael. Good morning, Michael. Hi, Lucy. Hi, Lucy. How's it going? How is it going? Pretty good, thanks. Pretty good, thanks. How about you? How about you? Great. Great. Hey, who's your friend? Hey, who's your friend? This is Sylvie Marceau. This is Sylvie Marceau. She's from Canada. She's from Canada. Hi, Sylvie. Hi, Sylvie. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. I'm Michael Morse. I'm Michael Morse. Hi, Michael. Hi, Michael. It's good to meet you, too. It's good to meet you, too. It's good to meet you, too. I'm sorry, Sylvie. But... I'm sorry, Sylvie. But what's your last name again? But what's your last name again? Oh, it's Marceau. Oh, it's Marceau. <laughs> it's Marceau. How do you spell that? How do you spell that? M-A-R. M-A-R. C-E. C-E. A-U. A-U. I see. I see. So you're from Canada. So you're from Canada. Are you from Toronto? Are you from Toronto? No, I'm... No, I'm... I'm from Montreal. I'm from Montreal. Where are you from, Michael? Where are you from, Michael? I'm from Chicago. I'm from Chicago. You know, Sylvie and I are in the same chemistry class this... You know, Sylvie and I are in the same chemistry class this semester. Semester. Oh, really? Oh, really? Yeah. Yeah. And what do you do, Michael? And what did you do, Michael? What did you do, Michael? Are you a student here too? 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 Yes, I am. Yes, I am. Lucy and I are in the same math class. Lucy and I are in the same math class. Oh. Oh. Is your class interesting? Is your class interesting? Is your class interesting? Yes, it is. Yes, it is. It's very interesting. It's very interesting. And the teacher is really good. And the teacher of English is... Oh, no, no, sorry, sorry, excuse me. And the teacher is very good. <laughs> okay. By the way... He... By the way... He's from Canada, too. <laughs> he's from Canada, too. <laughs> really? <laughs> really? Listen, I'm... Listen. I'm on my way to the cafeteria now. I'm on my way. I'm on my way to the cafeteria now. Are you free? Are you free? 
sure. Sure. Let's go and get some coffee. Let's go and get some coffee. Okay, Sylvie? Sounds great. Okay, Sylvie. Sounds great. Good. Now, let's go to the questions again. Sylvie is Lucy's friend from Toronto, Michael's classmate. Sylvie's last name is Marceau, Marceau, or Mar Marcoe. Okay. I don't know the pronunciation because it's French, but one of these, right? Lucy's math teacher is pretty great, very interesting, or really good. They are all in the cafeteria, in the same school, or in the same chemistry class. Okay, now let's go to the challenging exercise. Vámonos al ejercicio difícil, right? Lucy, Michael, and Sylvie are talking. Le okay, now please, you are going to repeat after the audio, right? One by one, ready? Listen and check the correct... Oscar, you begin, Oscar. Correct answers. Good morning, Michael. Repeat, Oscar. Good morning, Marco. Okay, Michelle. Good Good morning, Marco. Okay. Michael, I guess, right? Listen. Or, or Michael. Oh, uh, wait. And check the correct answers. Listen. Good morning, Michael. Uh huh. Michael, right, Oscar? Good. Thank you. Now, Michelle. Okay. Michelle, only you, Michelle. Hi, Lucy. Hi, uh, hi Lucy. Uh, okay. Anna, please. How's it going? How's it going? Good. Grisel, please. Pretty good, thanks. Pretty good, thanks. Sara, you're next, Sara. How about you? How about you? So, Carla. Great. Great. Thank you, Jenny. Hey, who's your friend? Hey, who's your friend? Who's your friend? Very good. Who's Selena? Selena? This is Sylvie Marceau. This is Sylvie Marceau? Marceau, Marceau. Yeah. I don't Marceau. know. Yes, it's it's, difficult. Yes, it's, <laughs> no, it is French, right? Le, le Monsieur English, Paul. no French. Excuse me. <laughs> no, well, she's from, from Montreal, and in Montreal they speak French, right? You know, Canada is divided. They speak English and French, right? Le Le mademoiselle parlait, le Selena parlait français. Ne parlait français? <laughs> no. Ne parlait, okay, good. Now, Ricardo, please repeat. She's from Canada. She's from Canada. She's? Is Canada. From Canada, right? From Canada. Okay, good. Thank you, thank you, Ricardo, thank you. Now, Jose Liceo. Hi, Sylvie. Hi, Sylvie. Herson. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. Vanessa. I'm Michael Morse. I'm Michael Morse. Thank you. Yolanda. Hi, Michael. Hi, Michael. Lo más difícil le tocó a Yoli, ¿verdad? <laughs> <laughs> okay, good. Let's continue. Ricardo. Only you, Ricardo. Ready? Repeat. It's good to meet you, too. It's good to meet you too. Excellent. Jose Liceo. I'm sorry, Sylvie, but. Jose Liceo? Teacher, excuse, excuse again, me. Excuse again, me, please. No problem. I will repeat. Listen, please. Meet you too. Okay. I'm sorry, Sylvie. Meet you too. I'm sorry. Uh, no escuché lo último. Uh, it's a name. It's a name. Again, listen. I'm sorry, Sylvie. I'm sorry, Sylvie. Okay, very good. Herson? But what's your last name again? Uh-huh. Herson? Again. No, no escuché, teacher. Again, again, again. Don't worry. I'm sorry, Sylvie, but what's your last name again? I am sorry, Sylvie. What is your last name again? Okay, now, let me see. Uh, Vanessa. 
Oh, it's Marceau. Oh, it's Marceau. Okay. How good pronunciation, Vanessa. Come on. <laughs> Have you visited France one day? <laughs> okay. No. <laughs> no. Jolly, please. How do you spell that? How do you spell that? Good. Carla, please. M A R C E A U. I'll repeat, please. Okay. M A R C E A U. A M E and U. Yeah, it's French, but again, listen, Carla, again. Spell that. M A R C E A U. A M I M A R huh? C T R U. <laughs> similar, e similar. A U. E A U. E A U, right? Thank you, Anna. A U. Thank you. <laughs> okay, thank you. Now, uh, who's next? Jenny, please, Jenny. Ah, ya se me trabó. Come on. Okay. Sorry, give me a second, Jenny. Give me a second. Okay. Se, me, que se, me, se me trabó aquí. Okay. Travation, travation. Give me a second. Okay. Eh, hey, hey. Por aquí vamos, creo. I see. So you're from Canada. Are you from Toronto? No, wait, wait. no I'm from Montreal. You spell that. M-A-R-C-E-A-U. Okay, ahora sí. Jenny, ready? I see. So you're from Canada. Again, please. Okay, okay. 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 Yes. C-E-A-U. I see. So you're spell from Spell that. M. No, 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 that part no. A de, de, R del... C. Jenny, después del spelling, eh, eso me va a repetir usted, ¿ok? Ready? Tell me, teacher. Después del spelling. Ok. Eh, entonces. Ready. Ok. A U. Okay. I see. So you're from okay. Canada. Ajá, uh -huh. Jenny. Again. So from Canada. Okay, oh, almost. Listen, listen. C E A U. Okay, ready? One, two, three. I see. So you're from Canada. Okay. Uh -huh. I'm from you, Canada. Okay, thank you. It's I see. So you're from Canada. Right? Good, thank you. Now, Oscar. Are you from Toronto? I see from you, Canada. Ah, okay. Yes. Thank you. Thank you, Jenny. I see you're from Canada. Now, uh, Oscar. So I see you Canada. from Toronto. Are you from Toronto? Uh huh. Are you from Toronto? Good. Selena, please. No, I'm from Montreal. No, I'm from to Montreal. I'm from Montreal, right? Michelle, please. Where are you from, Michael? Where are you from, Michael? Good. Grisel? I'm from Chicago. Grisel? Okay. Sorry. Uh -huh. I don't activate. Okay. Again, again, again. Okay. Listen, listen again. I'm from Chicago. From Montreal. Where are you from, Michael? Wait, wait. Aquí va la part. Listen. I'm from Chicago. Where are you from, Michael? Ah, I'm from Chicago. Good, thank you. Thank you very much. Good. Now, give me a second, please. Uh, hi, Lily, Lillian, right? Lillian Navarrete. Hello, Lillian. Hi. Hi, hi how hey. are you? No se, nos había no, no se nos había conectado, ¿verdad, Lily? Solo ayer no. Solo ah, okay. ayer. No es okay. otra vez. Okay, but you changed. Disculpe, eh, es Lillian Navarrete, ¿verdad? Lilian Galvez Navarrete. Ah, ok, good, thank you. Es que como ahora dice Lili y antes me había puesto Lilian, ¿ah? ¿eh? Es cierto. Pero, sí, 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 pero usted. Soy Lilian. Usted misma era. <risa> ok. <risa> welcome, Lilian. Welcome, welcome. Good. Thank you. Thank you. Now, eh, Ana, please. Ana, ready? 
Okay, repeat. Yes. Repeat. You know, Sylvie and I are in the same chemistry class. This. Repeat, please. Okay, la parte más larga le tocó, Ana. Okay, wait. Where are you from, Michael? Wait, wait, wait. I'm from Chicago. Okay, wait. Now, ready? You know, Sylvie and I are in the same chemistry class this semester. See now. Sylvie and I? Uh-huh. Uh-huh. Again, again, right? <laughs> <laughs> you know, Sylvie and I are in the same chemistry class this semester. She named chemistry class okay. in semester. Very good. Por pedacitos, pero sí, lo, lo escucho bien, right? You know, Sylvie you, and I... Hmm? You, you know, Sylvie and I... Are in the same... Are in the same the okay. chemistry class in semester. This semester, okay, very good. So, I guess it's enough, right? Creo que con esto ya los castigué suficiente. Este ejercicio es algo difícil, así que regresamos al... al listen, right? So... Sylvie is Lucy's friend from Toronto or Michael's classmate. Sylvie's last name is Mars. Well, one of these, right? Okay. Lucy's math teacher is pretty great, very interesting, or really good. And they are all in the cafeteria in the same school or in the same chemistry class, right? Good. Now, the second part. Listen, please. Ben prefers the what? The green shirts, the red shirts. O the blue shirts. Aquí va una S de más. ¿Verdad? Pero es shirts. Number two. The blue shirts are $25, $29, or $41. Three. The green shirts are made of what? Polyester, steel, or cotton. Mm -hmm. Ben size is what? Large, medium, or small. Now listen, please, listen. Ann and Ben are talking in a clothing store. Listen and check the correct answers. Hey, those shirts look nice. What do you think, Ben? Yeah, Ann, they do look nice. I really like the blue ones, and the green ones are nice too. Which ones do you prefer? I think I like the green ones better. They're very stylish. Oh, but look at the price. $41. That's expensive. The blue ones are only $29. That's more reasonable. But they're polyester. The green ones are made of better material. They're cotton. Say, Ben, what size are you? Small or medium? I wear a medium. But there aren't any medium ones in blue. They're all large or small. No. Anne and Ben are talking in a clothing store. Again, and I will repeat for you, right? Listen and check the correct answers. Hey, those shirts look nice. Hey, those shirts look nice. What do you think, Ben? Yeah. What do you think, Ben? Yeah. Yeah, Anne, they do look nice. They do look nice. I really like the blue ones. I really like the blue ones. And the green ones are nice, too. And the green are nice. No, the green ones, right? Uh, the green ones are nice too. Which ones do you prefer? Which ones do you prefer? I think I like the green ones better. I think I like the green ones better. They're very stylish. They're very stylish. Oh, but look at the price. Oh, but look at the price. $41. 41, 41, 41 dollars. That's expensive. That's expensive. The blue ones are only 29 dollars. The blue ones are 29, 29 dollars. That's more reasonable. That's more reasonable. Reasonable. But they're polyester. But they're polyester. The green ones are made of better material. The green ones are made of better, better material. They're cotton. They're cotton. Say, Ben. Say, Ben. What size are you? What size are you? Small or medium? Small or medium? Medium. Medium. I wear a medium. 
But there aren't any medium ones. But they aren't any medium ones in blue. In blue. They're all large or small. They are all large or small. Okay, now one more time. And let's watch the questions again. Anne and Ben are talking in a clothing store. Listen and check the correct answers. Hey, those shirts look nice. What do you think, Ben? Yeah, Anne, they do look nice. I really like the blue ones, and the green ones are nice too. Which ones do you prefer? I think I like the green ones better. They're very stylish. Oh, but look at the price. $41. That's expensive. The blue ones are only $29. That's more reasonable. But they're polyester. The green ones are made of better material. They're cotton. Say, Ben, what size are you? Small or medium? I wear a medium. But there aren't any medium ones in blue. They're all large or small. Okay. That, that, that's all, folks. This is todo, amigos. Right? So this is the listening part. Right now, let's go to letter B, right? Fill in the blanks. Fill in the blanks. Fill in the blank with the correct form of the verb to be, right? Verb to be. Now, um, I guess you don't need review with this, but I will make a little review, right? This is easy. The verb to be, look. The verb to be, verb to be in affirmative, are I am a student she is a teacher they are doctors for example right we use I am for I we use is for she he and it and we use are for they we and you right then in negative we say, I am not an engineer or contraction. If you want to make contractions, I'm not an engineer. He is not or contraction. He isn't a pilot. We are not, or oh, contraction, we aren't in the city. No estamos en la ciudad, right? Then will you make yes, no question? Yes. No, oh, sorry, no questions. Okay, so are you from Canada? Yes, I am. Or? I'm not. No, I'm not. Correct. Thank you, Anna. No, I'm not. You can make contraction here, right? No, I'm, no, I'm not. not. Right. Good. No, but in yes, don't make contraction. Look. You cannot make, yes, I'm. Contraction, yes, I'm. <laughs> yes, I'm. No, no. Mm -mm. It's, yes, I am. Okay. Then we have a information question. Or you can say WH question. Where is my pencil? What is, mm, okay. When is the party, right? We are in December. Ya que estamos en diciembre, hoy todo es fiesta, right? So where is the party? Ya empiecen a averiguar desde el 24, donde van a hacer la fiesta, okay? So where is the party? Siempre con las, la bioseguridad, okay? Now, so this is the way you make the verb to be, right? 
Good. Do you have any question? No question. No question? No teacher. So, uh, listen, I have a, 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 a guest today. Tengo un invitado ahora. I have a guest. And he's going to repeat uh, the sentences in a one sentence in affirmative, one in negative, and, and the question, right? Okay. So, the name of my friend is Dino. Hello, Dino. Hey, good evening. My name is Dino. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Hi, Dino. Hi. What's up? Hello, Dino. What's up, boy? Okay. Listen. <laughs> what? What are you laughing? I'm not a clown. Huh? Okay. Good. <laughs> uh, the bird to be in affirmative is... I am a dinosaur. I am not a dog. No, I am not a dog. Are you a human? Yes, you are. No, you're not. Where are you from? I am from Jurassic Park. <laughs> Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Very good. Goodbye. It was a pleasure to meet you. Bye bye. Bye bye. Bye bye. Bye. Nice to meet you too. Bye, Dino. Dino. bye Dino. Okay. It was my friend Dino, right? Nice to meet you. He speaks English very well, but you know. Very good, teacher. Congratulations. He's, he's very old. Okay. <laughs> okay. He's from the. Thank you, teacher. Xenozoic. Age. <laughs> okay, good. <laughs> okay. Good. Now let's go to the to the test. Let's go to the test. Let me see. Where give me a second. Here, right? Okay. Teacher. Tell teacher. Me. Yes. Uh, question. Tell me. Uh, respuesta corta, afirmativa, no contraction. Never, never. Never, Never construction. No. Never, right? Good. Now, where is you from? Where are you from? Or where am you from? What is the correct? Are. No. Are. Are. Anna, please. It's a secret, right? It's a secret. Don't say the answer, please. In public, no, please. In public, no. <laughs> No problem. No, mire, ahí está Ricardo anotando, eh, la respuesta. No, Ricardo, no copie. <laughs> okay, I'm kidding. I'm kidding, Ricardo. Now, number two, David. David is a, a he, she, they, or we. David. What is David? <laughs> David is a he, a you, or an I. Huh? What is David? Hoy sí contestamos, teacher. Ah, yes, please. I'm sorry. <laughs> he, teacher. He, teacher. He, yes, he. Thank you very much. Perdón, se me olvidó decirle que no era retórica la pregunta. Hey, okay. Ricardo, congratulations, Barcelona. My goodness. <laughs> Excellent, right? Vamos a... Por el examen. <laughs> ah, ok. Vamos a desterrar a todos los del Madrid de este grupo. Solo oh, Barcelona, wow. right? <laughs> ok, so David, right? So you're going to... It's a he. So what do you <laughs> we use are, am, um, or is, right? Now, number three, your math class. Your math class is singular or plural? Singular or plural? Singular. Singular. Singular, right? So you're going to use is or are, right? Number four. Maria and Brian from Canada. Maria and Brian, right? Mm -hmm. What is the subject? What is, what is the pronoun? I'm sorry. What is the pronoun for Maria and Brian? We, they, 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 right? they. So for they, we use is, are, or am, right? Good. Now, complete the following uh, conversation with the simple present. Simple present, right? Now we're going to make very fast the simple present. Let me share with you. Eh, ¿Le hicieron una captura de pantalla a esto? Yes. Yes, okay, good, thank yes. you. Yes. I can erase now. Good, now, 
uh, the simple present, the same, right? Affirmative, negative, and questions. Just give me a second here. Yes, here. Simple present, right? Affirmative. I play football. She plays tennis. So we are we are an S, right? She plays. Not she plays, she plays. Negative. In negatives, you use the auxiliary do. Right? And we use do for I, we, you, and they. And I use does for he, she, and it, right? So in this case is I do not or I don't play football. She does not or contraction doesn't play tennis, right? Now in just no question. Yes. No question. Do you play football? Yes, I do. No. I do not, right? Or I don't in contraction. Okay, don't. Does she play tennis? Yes, she does. Or no, she doesn't. Okay. Now we have information question. Where do you play football? I play football in the stadium, right? When does she play tennis? She plays tennis on weekends. Excuse me, teacher. Yes. In este caso, ¿por qué para she utilizamos plays? Ah, okay. I will explain. There is a rule that says that for third person singular in simple present, we are going to add an S, right? Hay una regla que nos dice que cuando la oración en el presente simple y con la tercera persona, he, she, and it, se le va a agregar una S al verbo. Sorry, okay. es una regla, right? Okay. Eh, creo que vimos las reglas la vez pasada, no... No sé si me ayuda alguien a recordarme. Vimos las reglas. Sí, sí, ¿verdad? Eh, sí, va, pero más o menos voy a poner una, aquí rapidito unos ejemplos para que, para que quede claro, ¿verdad? Cuando, cuando usamos un afirmativo. Eh, por ejemplo, en work, solo se le agrega S. Works. She works. He works. Eh, cuando termina en, en, en Y, cry, right? We change the Y to I, le agregamos la, la Y sí. por la Y latina, y luego le agregamos S, right? Christ. Y cuando terminan las letras Z, S, SH, CH, X, O, y cuál era la otra, eh, solo esas creo que son, sí. Cuando terminan estas letras, sí, Entonces le vamos a agregar ES, por ejemplo, en el verbo uh, dress. 
vestir, so, termina en S, ¿verdad? Entonces, dresses. Mm. Otro ejemplo sería fix, termina en X, so, fixes. Do, le agregamos S, does, right? Mm -hmm. Ok. Ok, teacher. Esos thank son, you. Los, son los, los ejemplos de tercera persona singular, right? Ok, thank you. Ok, good. Yes. Now here we have the simple present. Affirmative, negative, yes, no question, and WH question, right? Pueden hacerle captura de pantalla si quieren. Okay, so this is for the simple present. Now let's go back to the, to the platform. Good. Now, where do you or where does you? work. Do you or does you? What does he or what, what do he? Recuérdense que aquí eh, lo van a poner en minúscula, right? Sin puntos y sin nada, right? Solo la respuesta, do o das, ¿sí? Do das. <laughs> ok. And number three, where does she She go, van a poner she go, o she goes. ¿Se transforma o no se transforma? No me contesten, ¿verdad? Pero recuérdense que aquí está el auxiliar. ¿verdad? Y cuando usamos el auxiliar, ustedes ya saben qué pasa. ¿Sí? Ya vimos los ejemplos ahí. Ok, good. Ya no me va a decir, Ana, ya no me le voy a dar copia a Ricardo, por favor. <risa> Ok. Thank you, Ana. Uh, hey, hey, no. Shh, please. No se pasen las respuestas. No van a estar hablando después de la clase ahí, ¿verdad? Mandando. Ok, now. Circle the word, it says, right? Circle the word. Instruction, it says. Uh, write the possessive adjective. Ah, ok. Let me see. ¿Cómo estamos con el tiempo? Yes, we have time, right? The possessive adjectives are. Eh, ¿Hacemos un repaso de esto o, o creen que es tan fácil lo del possessive adjective? My, Easy. your, uh, creo que Easy. está claro, ¿verdad? Ok, good, Easy. now, yeah. now, let's see. Nice to meet you, Rich. What? Como está hablando con Rich, ¿verdad? está hablando con la otra persona, entonces, ¿cuál sería el possessive? His last Her. De, no, 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 Shh, no. Bueno, ya logré que, que Ana no me dé la respuesta, pero ¿qué, ¿qué más está dando copia ahí? Don't answer. Please. Sorry, Richard. No problem. Es que lo que pasa es que ahí está Ricardo listo a copiar la respuesta. No, ok, I'm kidding, Ricardo. Ricardo. Estoy bromeando, estoy bromeando. Okay. Yes, teacher. What's his last name, their last name, or your last name? Entonces, cuando están hablando con una persona directamente, entonces ya saben cuál sería aquí el, el possessive adjective, right? Now, eh, last name is Parker. It's nice to meet you too. Ah, es, aquí está alguien presentándose a sí mismo, ¿verdad? Entonces, ¿cuál sería el possessive adjective para mí? ¿Ah? Her, my, o its. Ok, number three. This is my new friend Elizabeth. Como Elizabeth es una chica, entonces, ¿cuál vamos a usar? Me, them, or her. ¿Ok? Number four. Hi, Beth. We're the Johnson. Somos los Johnson, right? Eh, aquí es para nosotros, ¿verdad? Nosotros. First names are Frank and Judy. Frank Johnson and Judy Johnson, right? Entonces, aquí, ¿cuál, cuál posesión sería? El your, his, or our, right? Ok. Ahora vamos, este sí creo que vamos a repasarlo, al possessive, al, al, al object pronoun, right? ¿Qué es un object pronoun? Aquí está. Este sí lo vamos a tener que repasar, vamos a ver. Ok. Vamos a poner el subject pronoun. Y el object pronoun. 
Remember that this, the pronouns are the substitution of the noun, right? The pronouns are the substitution of the noun, right? So in this case, I say, I, I, and me, right? The other pronoun for I, it's me. For you, is you. For he, it's him. For she, it's her. 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 Or, sorry. Perdón, que se me conecta el Siri en el teléfono. Me estoy hablando fuerte. Okay. Eh, for they, for we, sorry. Us. For, ah, no, faltó Firulais, ¿verdad? For it. Is it. El mismo, ¿verdad? Ok. They. For we is us. Y solo nos falta el day, ¿verdad? They. they them. Them. Ok, good. So what is the difference between the subject and the object pronoun? The difference is that one makes the action. Uno hace la acción. And the Teacher. other one receives. Sorry? Excuse me. Tell me, tell me. Teacher, excuse me, and you and object the pronoun is yours. You? No, no. Your. No, no. Yours is the... Uh, possessive. The possessive uh, pronoun. Yes, the possessive pronoun. Mm -hmm. Yours. Se lo voy a poner okay. aquí también. Se lo voy a poner aquí también para que lo sepamos, ¿verdad? Possessive... Ya no me acaba de crear un pronoun. Vamos a hacerlo para acá. Para el possessive pronoun es para, para mí, para I, sorry, mine. The car is mine, you say. El carro es mío, right? Mine. This is no possessive adjective. Este no es la, el possessive adjective. Es el possessive pronoun, right? Aquí no se usa el nombre. You don't say my car. You say only mine. And then it's yours. Aquí se va yours. Eh? Ok, teacher, thanks. Him. Vamos a terminarlo aquí para que. Him. It's him. No, his, sorry. His es aquí. His. Her. Her. Hers. Como los chocolates, ¿verdad? Hers. It's, ya se lo pueden, sí. Aquí solo una media recordadita, ¿verdad? Ours. And this is theirs. Theirs. Theirs, right? Okay. Pero dejando esto del posesi, nos vamos al, al subject y al, y al object, ¿verdad? Que eso es lo que me interesa aquí. Va, digamos. Yo digo, eh, uh, let me see. Selena, what's the name of your mother, Selena? Blanca. Blanca, ok. So, Selena loves Blanca, right? Selena ama a su mamá. Ok. Selena loves Blanca. So, Selena is the subject, right? Subject. Porque ella es la que está creando la acción. Ella es la que ama, right? ¿Y quién recibe todo ese amor del mundo? Su mamá. Y su mamá es el objeto del amor de Selena, right? So, Blanca is the object. She receives the action, you know? Selena makes the action and Blanca receives the action, okay? Now, if you want to make a substitution, you can say, Substitution for Selena, she. Substitution for Blanca, her, right? So, Selena loves her. She loves her, you see? Okay, entonces aquí tenemos los, los object pronouns. Estos son los que nos interesan. Me, 
you, him, her, it, us, and them, right? Understand? Yes, teacher. Yes? Okay, yes. good. Vamos a la plataforma otra vez. Y vamos a ver cómo estamos con el tiempo. Uh, 10 minutos. Ok. So, Johnny Depp is a man, right? Aunque le pegaba a la esposa, dicen, pero eres un hombre, right? Johnny Depp. Ok. He says, I like him, I like it, or I like you a lot. ¿Ah? ¿Cuál sería el object pronoun para Johnny Depp? Yes? Ok, good. Music videos are very interesting. Music videos is plural, right? Plural. Substitution for music videos, they, they, right? So what is the object pronoun for they? Her, them, or us? My favorite TV program is Survivor. No sé si se acuerdan de esta serie viejita, ¿verdad? Survivor. Eh, what do you think of, que piensan de, de esta serie, right? Substitution for Survivor, for the TV program. It, right? ¿Cuál es el object pronoun para, para it? Ok, good. Ahí tenemos las respuestas. Any question? No question. No question. Now complete the sentence, right? Fill in the gaps or in the spaces the correct time expression, right? Uh, aquí vimos tres pronombres, right? Tres preposiciones, or preposition. In, on, oh, yeah. and at, right? Okay. We use in for... Vamos a ver si nos acordamos. For uh, years, para años. Uh, and? We, no, no, for weekend is on. Uh, afternoon. Week, uh, parts of the day, yeah, thank you. Parts of the day, right? Parte del día. Uh, in years, in only, right? And then we use on for days, dia, right? Days. Uh, dates. Para fechas también. Eh, weekend. Let me say eh, weekdays on weekdays. Eh, parts of the week, right? Parts of the week. Week. Okay. And we use at for time. Aquí le estoy dando la respuesta ya. Time. Eh, night. Noon. Y midnight, right? ¿Sí? Midnight. Do you remember? Hoy sí ya se acordaron. So, now. I sleep in 10 p.m. on 10 p.m. or at 10 p.m., right? De esto hicimos un laboratorio, me acuerdo. John gets home late. In night, at night, or on night. They have lunch in Saturdays, on Saturdays, at Saturday. Recuérdense la preposición que usamos para días, ¿verdad? Días. I go to bed around 11. Eh, aquí sí me olvidó eh, repasarlo, pero sí creo que ya se lo pueden, ¿verdad? Parte del día, right? Parte del día. Eh, morning, afternoon, eh, evening, ¿verdad? Es, usamos la misma preposición, pero ya no puedo decírselas. Ok, good. And we have classes, igual, ¿verdad? Es la misma preposición de la cuatro, es la misma de las cinco. The same preposition for four is the same preposition for five, right? Ok, good. Now, fill in the sentences with the demonstrative pronoun, right? So remember the demonstratives, this, that, these, those. and those. Decíamos que this is for uh, singular, close. Algo que es singular y está cerca. That, singular, and is far. Algo que está lejos, pero es singular. 
B is for plural and it's close, right? It's that cerca. Those is for plural and it's far, it's that lejos, right? Good. Now, watch. Bueno, no, la persona anda buscando el price tag, entonces se supone que está cerca del reloj, ¿verdad? Y solo es un reloj, just a one watch, it's singular, right? Singular, close, singular y cerca, right? Now, you know what is the Look at purple jeans. Purple jeans is plural, right? Ok. Over there, dice, por ahí, quiere decir que está lejos. Sí, está lejos. Over there, dice. Uh -huh. And it's plural. Plural, far, right? Plural y lejos. Now, I like gold earrings. Plural, plural. They look great on me. Como ya se los está probando, entonces los tiene cerca, ¿verdad? So, plural, close. Excuse me, I like... It cap is gorra, right? Singular. Can I see it, please? ¿Puedo verlas? Quiere decir que está lejos, ¿verdad? Está lejos de la, de la gorra. Ok, so it's singular, uh, far. Singular, lejos, right? She likes glasses... Plural. Plural, correct. And far, right? Como dice over there, por ahí, está lejos. Yes? Yes. Good. Any question? No question. My goodness. Thank you very much. And to finish reading. Please. Yes, teacher. Ah, yes. Please teacher. Tell me. tell me. Dígame. Teacher, I have a question. Mm -hmm. La respuesta larga o solo la palabra. No, no, no. You're going to use, for example, one to five in, on, and at. Uh, the part two, you only say uh, this, that, these, dos. o those. Solo okay. De las cuatro solo va a usar una. Ah, no okay. More. No more, no more. Those, this. Uh, okay. Correct. No periods. Okay, no teacher, thank you. No, no mayúsculas, no puntos, no coma, nothing. Only, only this, that, those, and this. Ok, good. Good question, eh? Buena pregunta. Ok, ok. Thank you, teacher. You're welcome, you're welcome. Ok, por ahí escuchamos un bebé. Me fascina escuchar los bebés. Ok, thanks. <laughs> yes. Me acuerda a la mía, ¿verdad? Ya está más grandecita, pero tiene ocho años, pero... Me encantaba escuchar su voz. Ok, now, listen. Hi, Ernesto. In your email message, you ask me, what do I do every day? Well, I'm a student at the University of Michigan. En su email me preguntaste, ¿qué es lo que hago yo todos los días? Bueno, I am a student in the University of Michigan. Soy un estudiante de la Universidad de Michigan. I really like my classes. Me gustan mis clases. I study computer science and Chinese. Me gusta estudiar, uh, o yo estudio ciencias de la computación y, y chino, right? I go to school around 8 in the morning on weekdays. Voy a la escuela a eso de las 8 en, in the morning, in the morning, on weekdays. Por ahí hay alguna respuesta, ¿verdad? No le voy a decir de dónde, pero ya ustedes van viendo aquí. Around noon, I have lunch. A eso del mediodía tengo el almuerzo with some class, con unos compañeros, right? On Mondays and Fridays, I work out at the gym. Yo hago ejercicio en el, en el gym before my classes. And in the late afternoon, ya más tarde en la, en la, más tarde, en la tarde <laughs> on Tuesday and Thursday, my friend Daniel and I have a part-time job. Nos vamos a trabajar de medio tiempo, mi amigo Daniel y yo. We work in the school cafeteria. Trabajamos en la cafetería de la escuela, and I study the library in the library every weeknight. Y yo me pongo a estudiar en la biblioteca, ok, todas las noches de la semana, right? Until 2 a.m., hasta las 2 de la mañana está el chico ahí leyendo, right? I'm a full-time student and I don't have time to watch TV. Soy un estudiante de tiempo completo y para nada que me queda tiempo de ver Netflix, ni, ni cable, ni, ni Facebook, ni nada, ¿verdad? <laughs> ni ver televisión. And what do you do? ¿Y tú qué es lo que haces? Send me another email, please. Envíame otro email, right? Hoy como lo que los emails ya pasaron un poco de moda, ¿verdad? El WhatsApp está más... Ok, Ernesto, Ernesto es Chris. 
classmate, new friend o best friend. Ok. Aquí está Ernesto. Chris le está escribiendo a Ernesto. Entonces, ¿qué sería Ernesto? Ernesto es Chris. Classmate, new friend o best friend. Chris is a part-time teacher, full-time student o a TV announcer. <coughs> Sorry. Daniel is a, works in the library. Exercises every day. I'm sorry. And it's Chris's friend. And on Tuesday and Thursday, Chris writes to Ernesto. <coughs> sorry, excuse me. Uh, work with Daniel or doesn't study at the library, right? Entonces, leamos acá y ahí vamos a encontrar las respuestas, okay? Good. Uh, any question? No question. No questions? No question, teacher. Okay, so thank you very much. No question, teacher. See you on Monday. And you. Dino wants to say goodbye. See you Monday. Goodbye. Goodbye. Bye. Goodbye. Bye. Goodbye. 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 Goodb